Hello, this is D-Nice, the Digital Dynamo. D-Nice goes to CES.com. CES stands for the Consumer Electronics Show 2012. And this is my first web blog to talk about my first full day at CES, which is January 10th, 2012. So, I have blogged, blogged about my flight which you might want to take a look at also how I got a cheap ticket to come to CES with only four days before the event and it was quite a story if you'd like to check that out go to D nice goes to Las Vegas so let's talk a little bit about what a newbie or a person who hasn't been to CES in a couple of years such as myself I've been to Comdex and I've been to CES many times but the last three years I have not had an opportunity to come so I'm not gonna say it was a duck out of water because I kinda know the lay of the land but you know after two or three years a lot of things change so let me tell you a couple things that's really helpful uh, when you go to register they have three different locations one is at the actual convention, which is the Los Angeles uh, Convention Center. Did I say Los Angeles? I'm sorry, Las Vegas Convention Center. There's also the Hilton, which is no longer the Hilton. It's actually called the Las Vegas Hotel. That just changed less than seven days ago. And then, of course, you can go to the Venetian. The parking is free when you go to any of the hotels. But if you go to the convention center, and you try to park there, it's going to be $30 a day between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. So you may want to rethink if you decide to bring a car whether or not you even need to drive down there. They have, you know, cabs and trams and, and everything to get you there. Now, I do know, and I haven't done this yet, but I think it's like $5 to take one of those trammy things and I haven't done that yet because I I had rented a car um, but what I am going to do is since the Venetian has a tram that takes you right to the convention center and it is further down the strip in Las Vegas you know uh, Las Vegas Boulevard is the strip not the dance okay so um, I, what I think I'm going to do is just go and leave my car at the Venetian then catch the uh, tram down to the convention center when I need to go to an event there and then come back in with my car. Uh, why am I using my car? Well, basically because when I rented the car, I got it for such a great rate, I just feel like I need to use it, you know. And again, if you want to find out about that, you go to D Nice Goes to Las Vegas. It'll tell dot com. It'll tell you about all of that experience. So those are a couple tips that I would give you because you can kind of wander around and 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 not really know what's going on. There are over 140 thousand people that come to CES, and that's been pretty much I think every year. When you go to the, I went to the Venetian today. You'll notice that in the hallways where they're having all the conferences, and if you're confused as to why I keep mentioning the Venetian, by the way, which is an incredible hotel in Las Vegas, the uh, CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, is so large that they have to spread it out between the convention center and two other huge hotels. That just gives you an idea of how it's just massive. So I, I used to tell people that even if you came for a week, you still couldn't get through it all. And I think that's, that's still pretty true. There's a couple of things that I want to give you, just a couple tips tonight. Okay, one is, is that you'll notice in the hallways near where all the workshops and, and, and where the exhibiting is, you will find these bins, you know, bins where they have all kinds of magazines and newspapers. Uh, the CES actually does a, a news magazine twice a day with all the current things that have happened but you're also going to see one of these it's the official show guide and conference brochure now why is this important well what I do normally when I come to CES is I will grab one of these guides I'll go and find a nice place to get some chai because I love chai I like my chai extra strong by the way and a latte um, and then I will go through the official show guide and conference brochure. In here is a map, a very uh, easy to see map. 
that I can't thumb through right now, but you can trust me, it's in here, of where you need to go. But the other thing is it just has a linear exhibit list of all of the exhibitors. I believe I heard them say that there are 2,700 companies participating this year. And this list is pretty expansive, but it's just line items, you know, all the companies and where they're located, which is a good thing. Now, um, I will interject this also. When you register, you can go on to the CES website, and I believe it's called My CES Plan, and there you can actually select all the different places you want to go and the workshops, and it'll actually put an itinerary together for you. Highly recommend you do that because you don't want to waste a minute. It's very, you know, for us mortals, our uh, small entrepreneurial uh, businesses that need to come to CSA, uh, CSA, uh, CES, you want to make sure they get the most out of it. So you don't want to waste a lot of time bumping into things and trying to figure out what's going on because you can spend a day and a half like that. So this conference guide can be very helpful. You could actually go through and say, you know, while I'm here, I want to see Hewitt Packard. So you can actually just open this up, go to the H's, look for HP, and you can, you know, put where they're located. The other one, which I like to do, I just love to go through this one. This is the official show directory. By the way, these are all free. You can pick them up outside in the hallway by Venetian, the uh, Las Vegas uh, Convention Center, or the... Las Vegas Hotel, which used to be called the Hilton since the 3rd of January, 2012. But this one is really cool because, and I'm going to see if I can zoom in, it actually gives a little description, a detail of what each of the booths have and offer. So I use them both because I, when I come to CES, I have specific agendas. One is, is that I'm looking for anything that I'm looking for cutting edge and things that may be on the horizon because I like to stay on top of the technology at, you know ergo denies the digital dynamo in the relentless pursuit of taming the technology tiger Arr, you know do the growl thing but uh, I also am interested in things that are in the medical area because I have a background as a medical sales rep and a cardiovascular specialist and orthopedic and all of that and I would like to see how technology is dealing with those areas. So I'm also looking for medical. I'm looking for things with robotics because I teach young people so I'm interested in seeing what the new robotic companies are. Lego is a very popular company when it comes to robotics. I like to see who else is out here. There might be some new businesses that are using CES as a platform, a springboard to launch who they are. I like to know who they are as well and see if there's something they have that I can use. Social media, obviously. Social media is critical to anything you do in technology as far as moving it forward. Wait a minute, I'm, I have a list here, so I'm going to do my list. Where's my glasses? I'm in my hotel room right now, by the way. Okay. Um, this is my cheat sheet that I made up a couple nights ago. Education, medical, social media, mobile phones, Multicultural. I'd like to know how technology is addressing the multicultural community. Robotics. Seniors. As a caregiver myself, I've been the caregiver for my mom for about five or six years now. She has Parkinson's and she's doing very well. But I have used some aspects of technology to help give her a better quality of life. I'd like to see what else is going on. And there's a couple of workshops, I believe, tomorrow that I'm going to be attending. Interested always in getting new consulting contracts for startup businesses uh, because I have a background in marketing, whatever. So everybody has, my, my point is not to talk about what I'm doing, but to give you an idea that when you come to CES, if you come with somebody or yourself, sit down and come up with a couple, maybe four or five key um, goals that you have when you come. You will find that if you do that, it will be a much more successful and make you want to come back again. And of course, if you go to that website, my C, I think it's my C, CES plan, that will help you a tremendous amount. So that's just a tip for anyone who is um, coming to CES.
So that's a couple of tips that might help you. Is this exciting? Is CES exciting? Oh yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, as a as a person who loves technology, every year I go to CES, I'm just blown away. It is so huge. You know what's really cool? The cars and all the technology they put in the cars. I find that some of the things they put in car, I think there's a program on cable called Pet My Ride, something like that. And um, Pet My Truck, you've been pimped or something like that. Anyway, uh, the kinds of technology you can put in the car is fascinating. So George Jetson, look out. Okay, it's it's. I haven't had dinner yet, and I think it's about 9, 20, um, and I have to get ready for tomorrow. So, take care. This is D-Nice, the Digital Dynamo, in the relentless pursuit of taming the technology tiger. See you next time.